Hello, everybody. We are continuing our adventure through Digimon Survive. Last time, a lot of stuff happened. A lot of stuff happened. Miyuki is the Maiden of Darkness now. Gigimon died. That's fun. And I have no idea where we're gonna head next, because the Master is ever on us, using Miyuki's body as a vessel to try and kill us. The only way to save Miyuki is to call out to her, to her heart and soul, and try to encourage her to overpower the diddly-dang god-being. At first, Minoru was on our side and like, yeah, we should try and save Miyuki. And then in the final battle of last time, he was like, we have to. We shouldn't waste this opportunity. So it seems like Saki and... It seems like Saki... Like, I actually don't know where Saki lies on this. I feel like Saki might lean more towards trying to save Miyuki, but we don't know. So far, Miyu is the only one that's actually on side. Hey, let's actually try to save the person that's innocent in all this. I think Aoi is flip-flopping about a little bit where she wants to, but when put into a corner, she feels like it's not, like, worth the risk. And again, Minoru is bouncing back and forth as well. We talked to him a little bit. He's like, oh yeah, we should save... Miyuki, we'll save everybody, be a superhero in the fight. Yo, I gotta kill the bitch! And Kaido is being Kaido. Oh yeah, and I forgot, we left off in the middle of, uh, Gygix. The final enemy of, uh, Earthbound. What he ood. Oh hey, Renamon. What are you doing, Renamon? Holes. Holes. More. Mastrial more holes. Renamon, why are you being dumb? Just join forces with us. Be a good pal. Where's Garurumon? Oh, well, this world will soon fade. For my wish to be fulfilled. These are insufficient. Again, what are you doing, Renamon? Is Renamon gonna swap sides? Because Renamon is just like, I want to be the one for Miyuki. And because maybe she went tsundere. He, she, don't know their gender. But we don't know, basically just feel like they've gone tsundere. And like, ah, oh, Miyuki, ah, oh, Miyuki, nothing else. Doesn't want help from anybody. Even when everything, and now they're just like, oh, maybe I'll just serve Miyuki as the god of darkness. Maybe, but god damn it, Renamon. In other words, you want more sacrifices. Yeah. Then if I bring you more sacrifices, yeah. would you let her go? Yep, she kind of gone crazy. I'm gonna have to kill you, won't I? God damn it. We want the maiden, do you? Where even are you? With the guts walls. I don't think joining forces with you is a bad idea. Really? He was just talking about drilling holes into the universe and the end of this world. You're not very smart, are you? And I suppose Arukinimon and Piedmon failed to live up to your expectations. That's also another thing. We haven't seen Piedmon since we came to the digital world. And nobody else mentioned Piedmon since we kind of... Considering that we kicked Piedmon through the portal before we even debated going through the portal ourselves, and then when Miyuki went through the portal like seconds ahead of us, she apparently came out a few days before us. Shenanigans. Time shenanigans. Still, I can offer you plenty more humans than they ever could. I wondered what you would say to me. From the beginning. I never consider you to be of any use. Are you starting to realize this is a bad idea? I'm different from them. I'm a psychopath and a bad person. I'm not some clinging brown noser like they were. 
I have a will of my own, a strong one. Eh, do you? Do you, though? You're just kind of a psychopath on your own level now. Working with the Planetary Annihilator, because... Uh, is this gonna get into the toxicity of bonds on your end? If I were to bring you more sacrifices, that would be enough to save this world, right? Then you'll do what I ask, and let Miyuki go in exchange for the sacrifices? He's just gonna say yes to you as you, you moron. Very well. The moment that my wish is fulfilled. I shall relinquish this vessel. And then he'll kill you all. Kill you both. Deadly damn it, Renamon. I was always at her side, Miyuki's side. That she reacted to that person was a mere coincidence. I'll get her back. That's right, I'm the one who'll make you happy, Miyuki. The only one. Considering that you never really knew Miyuki, except as a half-shell because her half her soul was taken, hang in there just a little longer. I'm going to save you, I promise, by killing your brother that I pretended to be. Healthiest relationship. Man, I'm still so beat. Good morning, Magu. Did people die while I was asleep? You gotta be so loud, I just woke up here. Help the Kuma! I just can't take it on my own! It's them! It's all those kids! Oh, from the amusement park. Who's a good little cutie? Who wants a nice little treat? Come on now, no more tears, okay? One, two, peekaboo! Nyokimon. So I'm guessing that we managed to save the really non-fighters of the amusement park. Well, hey, enough of the waterworks. Look at all the attention Mew's giving you. Shh, not so loud, Kaido. But you'll get the others worked up too. It's okay, everyone. He's not scary at all. <laughs> this will peed on me. Someone, anyone. A towel and I'm gonna begging you. Um, what exactly is going on here? Tacoma, man, what took you so long? It's a madhouse in here, I tells you. A madhouse! Uh, sorry, but seriously, what's going on? Ain't it obvious? We got a hands full taking care of these amusement park kids. And you got hands? So lend us a hand already! You can take care of this one, and this one, and this one. <laughs> what if thought we'd be running a daycare center in another world. How can you laugh at a time like this? Quit making the Neo come on cry! I wasn't talking about you! You can laugh! <laughs> I'll be right there. I know it's a lot for us to have to deal with, and I probably shouldn't be laughing. Still, this is kind of fun. It feels like I haven't had a real belly laugh like this in a while now. Maybe the presence of children will chill Kaido the fuck out. At least some food seemed to calm them down. How did Gigi Mon handle all these rugrats? Yeah, who knows? I bet they'd all be happier if he were around. But he died because of us, right? Hey, I didn't mean... Ah, my bad. I shouldn't have said anything. No, it's okay. Everyone, do you have a moment? Keep looking after the little ones, but hear me out. Since we have a bit of time on our hands, I want us to think about our next step. We need Miyuki if we're ever going to escape this world. The original Miyuki, that is. Otherwise, it'll mean the end of this world and ours. And yet we can't allow any more sacrifices than we already have. Jijimon said it himself. We have no choice but to call out to Miyuki as much as we can. Knocking on the door to her heart. But how exactly are we supposed to do that? If you were alive, I bet Jijimon would have thought it through with us. I'm positive I don't have what it takes to think this through on my own. But there's no need to panic. We can put our heads together and come up with something. Let's use this time to prepare. Deal with what's in front of us and what's to come. Prepare, huh? Free action! Uh 
All right. I wonder how many parts to this game there are. Because I think we're currently in part 10, I think it said. Let's see, who needs the most affinity? They're all kind of around the same, so... I should focus on the ones I'm most scared about, which I guess are Kaito? Because I don't think we've run into a position where... Yeah, I think Kaito and Miyu should be prioritized slightly. Because I don't think we've run into... Mm, but at the same time, mm, I'm just scared. I'm just thinking of, hey... If they were to have uh, potentially died by now, where would they have uh, been? Like, Minoru's obviously would have been, if we had a low affinity with him, we wouldn't have been able to connect with Minoru enough to have him hash out things between him and Falcomon, probably. Which probably would have led to his death uh, at the hands of uh, Garurumon, maybe? Or maybe... A the other monsters, I don't know. Just like, I feel like that's kind of where it would have been. Let's see. Because we have eight. But I should definitely focus on Kaito. Kaito is the most likely to, uh, die. I'm just saying it. Huh? Mew, you okay? As if, how am I supposed to be okay? Yeah, my bad. You know, Mew, I may not be able to protect everything under the sun. Protecting you, that I can do. So don't worry, okay? Uh, okay. I trust that more than most things. And thanks, I guess. For trying to cheer me up, I mean. <laughs> Professor? Why is he staring at the two of them like that? Because he's remembering his childhood with his sister through vague emotions, probably. I know he's leaving them be, but Kaido's gonna be pissed if he notices. This may be none of my business, but should I cut this off at the pass? Hmm. So this is just with the professor. Damn, this doesn't even seem to be a Diddly D. Hmm. So let's go to the backlog. Why is he staring at the... I know he's leaving them be, but Kaido's gonna be pissed if he notices. This may be none of my business, but I should cut this off. Hmm. I don't know, because this feels like it'll be a affinity up for them, so I'll call out to him. That's not... Again, I thought it call out to who? I thought it was going to be call out to... I thought it was going to be call out to the professor. And be like, hey, professor. Not diddly D call out... Why would it be call out to him? Especially when it's call out to... When it said Kaito and Mew. So I guess... Grab some popcorn. Kaito's not exactly a kid. If he's going to get mad, why not let him do something about it? Again, I th I guess I'll scold the professor. I wish that the game would actually give me, like, the first sentence of each one to be like, okay, who am I addressing here? So I guess I'll scold the professor. Of course, they'll make mistake your, they'll mistake your intentions if you don't say something, professor. Oh, no, that wasn't my... But yes, you are. Right, you are, my boy. Tsukuma. Sorry, maybe it wasn't my place. I didn't think you'd want others to listen in on this. That's what I thought. Nah, man, I appreciate it. So, did you need... See, this is just like... I just wanted... All the time I thought I was addressing... Why is the first one? It's like, oh, scold the professor. But then the other ones are like, vague. Grab some popcorn. So maybe it's like, oh, maybe be buddy-buddy with the professor. Or call out to him. Give the professor an out. But no, all of them were just like... Directing the things wrong. And this is why you save... Because sometimes the game is like, haha, the intentions are different than what you thought. So, did you need something, Professor? Uh, no, nothing like that. Not exactly. I simply found myself admiring your sibling relationship before your conversation began. Admire? This trash fire? Uh, you don't get it at all, Professor. Having an older brother is nothing but a big pain. Oh, but I do know what it's like to have an older sibling. 
I had a sister once, you know. The feelings Kaito has for you are likely the same as those my sister bore towards myself. Bore, you say? Was in past tense? Oh no, she still lives. Yes, this whole time. Huh? See if Mew has anything to say. Oh, it's a double. Mew's a pain, but all the more reason to look after her. Wonder what his sis thought. The younger sibling always has it rough, that's for sure. And that's why I save before I make little decision thingies, because sometimes the game is like, ha ha, your intentions are wrong, fool. And I don't like that. Is that Minoru? He looks a little down. Why is he just staring out the window like that? I get the impression I should leave him be. What's the matter, Minoru? You were playing happily with the little ones a moment ago. Um, uh, nah, I just don't get it, man. After all that went down in the park, we're just palling around here? I can't tell if I'm spin or if my head just hasn't caught up to the present. And if I try to think about the future, it's like my gears won't even turn. My see, our circumstances have indeed been confusing as of late. Even so, I see no value in forcing either agitation or ease into your thoughts. We must take things one step at a time. Starting from the task in front of us. Huh? You think that's good enough? Don't take my word for it, Takuma. Agumon. Huh? Well, you guys were there the whole time. Don't be shy. Jump on in here. You sure? Your input would be much appreciated, you two. Um, well, let's see now. I mean, Falcomon's basically right. Nothing will come on forcing things and messing up. But we ought to look ahead while we candle the things we have to do now. What's the best thing to do when you're out of ideas? The kids come first, of course. Then I will save there, because I think this is a good place. This is a good place. Let's see. Try to adjust first. Hmm. Deal with it later. Go step by step. All these seem like the same kind of thing a little bit. I'd say go step by step. Falcomon's right. Let's take things step by step, then think from there. Doing what we're supposed to will make the next task at hand easier to see. I think so too. One task down means one step forward. Yeah, thinking positively like that is better than sitting here worrying my ass off. Thanks, you two. I feel better somehow. Good, good. Let's see, who should be next? Probably me, you. I'm just scared that once we get to the four, everything will swap around again, because the game is like, here's a time limit. Psych, there was a second time limit you didn't know about, games mean like that. Let's see. Because I don't know. I think Mew is safe. Safer than everybody. I think I'll go for Aoi. Aoi and Saki and then Mew if she, things don't shape around wonkily. Aoi looks kind of tired. Oh, that's a stage, not a ooh, looky looky. There, oh, that's kind of funny because it was right on top of her. Hey, Owie. I noticed you crouched down over here. What's up? I'm checking out our food stores. After all, we just picked up a lot more mouths to feed. Uh, Owie, you're working again? Of course, there's no time to be resting, Saki. I've been telling her to take a breather myself, but it didn't work. I have a solid grasp of our current situation, she says, and won't rest. Saki Takuma, you gotta say something. Abramon, I'm fine. I don't need to take a break right now. But you've been running yourself ragged doing all this leadership stuff. Well, what else am I supposed to do? We're in trouble. I need to stay on top of things. That doesn't mean you can't take a break, Owie. Howie's face is super serious. 
Given we have no idea what's coming down the line, there's no such thing as too worried. Still, there's one thing I've learned in the time we've spent together. How he gets like this when fatigue and anxiety have caught up to her. I wish she'd slow her roll in here before she gets too carried away. Again, this would be one moment where seeing the first sentence would really help. Like, is counting on you going to mean you should keep it up because we're counting on you? Or sh would it be you need to take a break because we're counting on you? This never. <laughs> haste makes... No, wait, that's probably wrong. They say haste makes waste, Owie. Do you really think you can get a grasp of our situation if you tire yourself out? That's an interesting way to put it. I get the impulse to do something. But that's all the more reason to catch your breath. A cool head will let you work smarter, not just harder. That's what I'm talking about, Takuma. You're great at getting her to see things our way. Huh? Oh, uh, you think so? I agree. That's one argument I can't refute. Yay! I'm sorry. I was rushing off ahead again. Her expression's relaxed a bit. Glad to see it. Huzzah! We did it! Alright, next should be Saki. Hey, Saki, should I talk to her? Of course, she is friend. You're looking kind of grim, Saki. Takuma, I'm scared. Things are only going to get more dangerous, aren't they? I could get hurt or even die. Don't worry, we'll protect everyone. I know things are dangerous here, but don't forget about us. Oh, come on. Florimon. Thank you. I believe in you both. But I still can't get over my own weakness. Saki seems to be considering her next course of action way more seriously than usual. That's why she's overthinking and getting herself all worked up. So I want to support what she's trying to do and encourage the way she's thinking now. Hmm. Hmm. Again, this would be where having the first sentence would ha greatly help because she's worried about her own weakness because she already believes in them. It's her own weakness. Hmm. I'd say it's okay to be weak. It's not something to put yourself down over. Weakness isn't a bad thing. Yeah, that just means you see things more realistically than before. Huh? You think so? Yeah, I feel like you tried to avoid seeing the tough stuff before, but now you're taking in everything. That's what makes you anxious and worried. Next, take a good hard look at how you're, sp uh, how you're scared of being able to see your weakness. Yeah, Florimon's right. If you accept your own weakness, I'm sure you'll be able uh, know how to handle it next time. Yay! Yeah, yeah, you're right. I feel better now, somehow. There's nothing wrong with being me. Yep, not a thing. Yep, and everyone's shuffling around. Oh boy, is something going to go down in the town of doom? Where? What's gonna happen now? This could be pretty bad. Um, is this... This is going to be a problem. Kaito, Maui, is something bothering you? Yes, our food stores are starting to get low. We have more mouths to feed now, right? So our supply is being used up faster. Makes sense. More people means we use more ingredients each meal. At this rate, our reserves are just are about to just evaporate. What to do? Right, we don't... Why don't we see what we can find in the forest? In the forest? You know what to look for? Sure, we can at least find some nuts, and I grew up by the woods, so I know it's safe. So I'll take a look around a little later. We can't afford to run out of food. Ah, then I should go with you. I'd like to learn what's safe to eat and what's not. In that case, I'll come with. You stay behind. What? Why? we got a bunch of people to look after here. Someone's gonna stay behind for that. Plus, I doubt Mew wants to leave the kitties to go rustle up some grub. In other words, you want me to keep an eye on things here? Got it in one. It's all you, man. 
Uh, well, all right, if you insist. Guess we can leave our food shortage problem to Aoi and Kaido for now. The music cut out before we uh, faded out, so a little bit of scaredness happened. Hmm. All right, but that's just our mandatory things are progressing. So we should definitely hit up Miu, advance her affinity a little bit. Hit up the professor. Then those two if possible. Watakuma, perfect timing. Perfect timing? For what? Her bro is go going somewhere and she's worried about where they're going. Kaido and Ali are going with Drachmon and Labramon from the sound of it. Oh yeah, they're heading to the woods to look for ingredients. Oh, so that's what they're doing. I thought it was an odd pairing. The four of them alone in the woods? I'm a bit worried. About Kaido? <laughs> oh no. That's not what I'm worried about. I just think Kaido might mouth off at Ali is all. You don't need to deny worrying about your brother that much. Is she hiding her embarrassment or is she really that worried about his behavior? The way, I bet she'd deny everything if I just asked her outright. What is it, Takuma? Uh, nothing, I mean... Hmm. Save, just in case. Let's see. Anyone would worry. Anyone would be worried. Nothing weird about that. Uh, Mew? Did I say something wrong? No, not at all. You're awesome, Takuma. Huh? Yeah, anyone be worried. No weird meaning behind it at all. Yay. You, like, really get me, you know? Mad respect. Good one, Takuma. What tact? They're really singing my praises. For some reason, I guess it's cool. Mew is, like, the best character so far. Because after she actually came to realize, oh, things are serious, and le realize the world is actually dangerous... She's been, like, the most sane character here. There's the professor. Maybe I should lean on him to see what he, we should do now. Professor. Oh, hey! This is a free action! Free action! Agumon, why'd you stop all of a sudden? Takuma, I was sensing something strange nearby. There's something here? We better look around. First of all, talk to the professor. That's the professor? Hmm. Maybe this way. Looks like he's pretty busy investigating something. I'll ask him about it later. Interesting. Well, but what's the weirdness, Billy? Tacoma, there's something in the grass! You mean over there? Let's check it out. Right, on three, one, two, three! Ah, it's a group. Eek! Gah! Ah! He tripped. Hagumon, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. They startled me, but I'm good now that they're gone. So there were three of them hiding together. They ran towards the shrine, Takuma. The shrine? In that case, I doubt they'll try to do anything to the people in the school. We should go find out if they're friend or foe, I guess. This is probably just an extra recruitment thing. Like, hey, you need Digimon? He is Digimon. All right, let's go to the Spider Lily Forest, look for things. He might have fled over here. I should take a look around. Why would talking to Agumon take up time there? Oh boy, fight time. Remember to stay hydrated while you're out in the forest. Would be kind of funny to have, like, another Cerberus Mon. No, not you. Kind of amusing to have Labramon and Drachmon here for the fight.
Why do you gotta be so fast? Then again, I'll probably be able to absolutely annihilate them in a second, but let's go talk to Cerberus Mon. Sometimes you should act on emotions instead of logic, don't you think? Be true to yourself. I see you. We're kindred peer spirits. Looking at innocent monsters really puts your heart at ease, doesn't it? Hmm. What a gentle soul. What'd you do if someone told you an idea you believed was incorrect? Thank that person. Join me. Damn it. Everything else can die. And plus we can play around with... What is it, War Greymon? Any other treasure chests does not look like it. At least we have a Cerberus Mon right here. Surprise, you thought they were on your side, but they're not anymore. They're here to kill you. But still, I'll try to play a bit safe. I don't want to get cocky. So let's try and play just a teensy weensy bit. Wait, uh, I was going to try and get to the other side, but Rock decided no. Let's just go all the way. Go ahead and try to annihilate them both. Because it's such a powerful move. It's so magical and wondrous. And I don't really care to recruit any more Fangmon. For some reason, that seems like like they're out of formation, probably because he's floating. Or maybe it's because Flora Blossommon is just hunched over. And now, luckily, we're faster, so we can just annihilate these fools. Such a wonderful move. And so rewarding after all this. And if we stay bunched up, everything is nice. I, I can only imagine what it would be like if you somehow managed to kill a lot of the characters up till now. Like, just imagine if you didn't have all these cool characters at your disposal. Annihilate them all. Annihilate them all. Ah, we got resources. That's always nice. And I'll save before I do this, because it just feels like, I don't know, I'm not sure what this might bring. The Kuma over there! He's growling, but it looks like he's frightened. How should I approach this? Speak with kindness! It can't be enemies if they're scared. I'm sure we can work this out. You should come with us. Lol. <laughs> I think he wants to join us, Takuma. Thank goodness, we can't ignore someone in need. Yeah, I'm glad he listened to us. Hmm, so that's basically... Hmm. 
should I waste all my moves doing that? Gathering them up, would something happen? Just feels odd. Because I could spend this time leveling up Saki and Aoi's... Well, not Aoi's, but Saki and Minoru's, like, uh... Affinity. It might have flown over here. I should take a look around. I'm just feeling very odd about all this. Takuma, there's something in the grass! Well, there, let's check it out. Right on three, one, two, three! There's nothing here. Guess we were just imagining things. That's extra dirty. They would do that. Psych, you thought thing? No. Time is already a precious resource. Why would you do that? Hmm, but I doubt anything's going to happen with these if we gather them all. Right? Because nothing really happened with the other recruitments besides the fact that we recruited. And also Edamon apparently exists here. Neat. Alright, but again... Hmm. Who's first? Minoru or Saki? Minoru. It's Minoru and the others. What are they talking about, I wonder? All right, kids, listen up. It's time for Uncle Minoru to tell you a story. Once upon a time in a land far, far away. Ooh, hi, hooray! Ah, not bad, Minoru. I'm impressed. You've got a knack for this, my boy. <laughs> I know, right? Minoru's stories get me all excited somehow. Minoru's good of people. I can see why he's popular with the kids. Let me listen to your story, too. Seriously? These are all tall tales for pint-sized tykes. You enjoy that kind of stuff? I thought I might. You you never know. Hey, Takuma Agamon, you come too. Ah, uh, me too? I have so many things to think about. Is it really okay to play around like this? On the other hand, I can't keep running around, uh, running on all cylinders constantly. Besides, it's rare to see Minoru telling stories like this. Could be fun. Save just in case, because sometimes the game is a jerk and it's like, aha, psych, it's not what you thought it was. Why not listen for a bit? Might as well take this chance to listen. Mind if I join, buddy? Sure, but I don't know keep your interest. It's your delivery that makes it fun, Minoru. What do you mean by that? Hey, start the show already! Oops, my bad, my bad. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> there once was a bamboo boy who was born from a bamboo tree. Is he seriously just making this up as he goes? <laughs> Lol. That is adorable. And then let's level up Saki. Besides, I'd rather spend time, like, actually talking to the characters I know rather than... Oh, hey, you have to spend a movement thingy for your free action to recruit a low-level Digimon. That you could probably get. <laughs> like, seriously, you could just go to freaking free battle and recruit as many Digimon as you want. And there, again, there have been a few of these. Oh, hey, spend an action to kind of recruit a Digimon. There was Gomamon before. Like, this is literally the second Gomamon that we've run into in the forest in that same place and recruited. I think in the same way. So I really don't think it affects anything. Let's talk to Saki and use up all our movement. Remember to stay hydrated. Hey, Saki, out on a walk to clear your head or something? Yeah, basically. Being cooped up indoors all the time gets me feeling down, you know? Hey, why don't it, you ask Takuma what he does when he needs to clear his head? Ah, good idea! Any tips, Takuma? What? You mean right now? Hmm, I wonder. No point in mentioning methods that can't be used in this world. What can I suggest for shaking the cobwebs out? Probably a good conversation. 
Why don't you talk of everyone like Allie and Florimon here? Normally that would make good for distraction, but everyone's worried about what's about to happen to us, right? So whatever we talk about would just make everyone feel worse. Oh, hello, Mop Jump, with the Bra Raid Party. Thank you very much. We are playing Digimon Survive, the ultimate horror game that gets my heart racing. Yeah, I bet they'd get all depressed. Right? Man, I'm totally stumped. Getting your mind out of off of stuff is pretty tough, isn't it? I saw the professor heading the, at that way earlier. I think he left the school. He did? Must be looking into something again. Maybe he's just taking a breather like me. Everyone needs some time alone, right? You got that right. Thanks anyway. We already ran into the professor. He was just wandering around, doing things. <laughs> yes, let's survive. I'd say I've been doing a good job of it so far. Two glaring and horrific examples, notwithstanding. Phew. Professor, where have you been? I mean, we already ran into him, and then we let him be, so is it really that surprising, Takuma? I went to search the forest. Deep within, I found that a new building had appeared. What? Really? What kind of building? And did you run into anyone? Were there people inside? How it goes? I just finished a playthrough myself. Things are going pretty well. Again, minus Ryo and Shuji. The utter horrificness of those. I think I'm doing not terrible. Except for the few times I had to save Scum because the game was like, Haha, the thing you clicked was not what you thought it was. During conversation. Aha. Those are always annoying. <laughs> Please, calm yourself, Takuma. One question at a time. Oh, sorry, Professor. Oh, and I also recently got uh, War Greymon, I think it is, and utterly fantastic. <laughs> I love the, how this game does the combat and the digivolution, especially for the main ones. Basically, when I play Digimon Cyber Sleuth, this, like, digivolution system is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Save scumming? Imagine doing that. It's more like safety saving, considering sometimes you're like, Oh, I'll do this. And then it is just not what you expect. And then at that p there are a few times in this game where I just kind of wish that it would show me like the first sentence of what Takuma's going to say when I select the option. <laughs> ah, so you chose the moral route. Yeah, it just kind of felt like those options were pretty good. Started Harmony, I think? and then just drifted more morale. Again, the wrathfulness route scares me because it's named that. Why would that be good? The building appeared to be a library. A library? I did a cursory scouting of the entrance, but I didn't see anyone inside. Are Kaito and Aoi gonna go in there and is it gonna be a risk to Kaito? Mm, fear? Fear, fear, fear. What's more, the building was clean. Clearly distinct from those we've seen up till now. And now my brain went, oh no. What if that's where the master's hanging out? Because that was a weird place. I did the harmony route after chapter eight. Yeah, that also turned into stuff. Well, that's terrifying. Utterly horrific. What do you mean clearly distinct? That building, it... Well, perhaps we should discuss this with the others. Shall we return to the school? Yeah, yeah of course you're right, okay? Back to the school then. So let's see, what was chapter 8? This is chapter 10, so chapter 9 was the first. So chapter 8 was the return to the human world chapter. Things definitely happened there. I shoved Piedmon through a portal. And I'm just wondering where the hell he is. He was obviously in bad position, so maybe he died, but he's gonna come and stab us in the butt with knives, I just know it. Uh, foraging is tougher than I thought. I'd chow on some grass, but the weeds around here are too t nasty to eat. Who knows what se season it is here? That eh, doesn't really matter in about seasons, considering the spider lilies. They're meant to, like, grow in the winter or fall, and they're everywhere. Yeah. I don't see a single fruit on these trees. Red spider lilies bloom in the fall, so there might be some autumn fruits around here. Wait, what's that? R fuck, Rinamon. God damn it.
Oh no. Red up on why? <laughs> I just I know. I know. I know it's gonna happen and I don't like it. It's fear, it's horror, it's nightmare. Haruku? No, it's not. Haru. Oh, definitely not all right. No. So I think that library is a bad place. Haru, wait, where are you going? Ah, uh, to lure you into nightmares. I wanted Renamon to side with us. Oh, that's not what happened. Looks like he's headed further into the forest. What do you think we should do? Let's go after him. It's really dangerous to be out here all alone. Consider! Last time you saw Haru was at the factory invasion. He, well, no. No, no, no. That's not right. I think they actually grabbed him, took him to the school. They think they mentioned that. And then when Miyuki turned into Nightmare Monster, he went out into the forest to find her and has been missing for quite a few days. But still, quite a few days, he has been missing. And C seems fine. And also, very surprising that nobody's put it together that, hmm, weird things with Renamon and Haru or the fact that Seriously, I think the professor really should have told everyone, hey, Miyuki might be my sister. Because, I mean, it's just logic. But now they're going to get captured. It's going to be the spider Digimon in Chapter 1 all over again. Shouldn't we go tell the others? I want to, but what happens if we lose track of Haru? Yeah, I guess we'll just have to go get him. Bad, bad stuff. Bad, bad, bad stuff. Everything is nightmares. going to... Sorry for the wait. Hold up, where's Ali and Kaido? They went into the forest to forage for food. Think they're on a date or something? What you said? Sorry, sorry, I was just kidding. Uh, now hold on a minute, man. You're telling me those two into... Hold on a minute, man. That's not really what I think the professor would say. <laughs> hold on, man. You're telling me th those two went into the forest. And that's what they said, yeah? I saw them not too long ago. They were in the forest heading east. East? But that's in the direction of the library! Wait, that's bad, isn't it? The library? A new building that popped up in the woods. The professor discovered it earlier. We don't know a thing about that place yet. If they went that way, it could be trouble. If it really just popped up, the master servants might check it out themselves. That's like the worst case scenario, isn't it? We have to go save them! Hold on, who's gonna go look after this place? Professor. Professor should look after this place. We'll be shorthanded if you all go. Still, it's dangerous to go with too few people. They could steamroll our people. I know that, it's just... Oh, oh, the amusement park, the amusement park kids? Yes, Lady Mew. It's an emergency. Can you look after the little ones for a bit? If anything happens, just run away if everyone got it. Yes, ma'am. May you come back safely, Lady Mew. Good boy, Patamon. Okay, that takes care of this place, I think. I think, she says. I wonder if that happened because I took care of all, like, the Patamons, Palmons, and Biumons from the amusement park. Who knows? This game feels like it has no seams. It, this isn't like Mass Effect, where I can go, Haha, there's my chance to save people. I better save scum so I can come back when I have the right, uh, uh Paragon numbers. This game, no! All the numbers are there, like all oh, the affinity and whatever the hell the harmony moral wrathfulness is. I still don't quite understand that, except maybe it's linked to the ditch evolution, apparently. But yeah, everything just feels streamlined, where it's like, I don't know. It doesn't. It, it, this game has no tells. Its poker face is great, so I'm always terrified. Well, they really will. They really be all right. They were helpless against the master's forces before. You got any better ideas then? Hmm. We should be fine for a little while. Going together should speed up our return too. Yeah, this is the best choice for us. Right. Let's go save Kaido and Aoi. No idea why the professor took off his hat. Maybe it's because he's indoors. Hmm. Bad stuff. Bad stuff in the library. Bad stuff. Mm-mm. Professor, you sure this is the way? Mm. Oh, yes. This certainly looks right to me. But you're not sure. Well, the building isn't in sight, but this is the right direction. It shouldn't be far. It couldn't have just disappeared or something, right? Oh, 
don't know. Kaido could be in danger. Oh my. What is it? Can you see the library? No, it seems we found something else. Something quite dangerous in its own way. Or it found us, to be precise. Place your bets! Is it Haru? Is it Miyu? Well, no. Yeah, it was like, is it Haru? R AKA Rinamon? Is it Garurumon? Who is it? Oh boy, nightmares! Took you long enough. Pretty cold of you, considering your friends in trouble. Renamon. Renamon, he's glaring at the professor in anger. Did you come all this way to see us? Or are you visiting the library for her? For Miyuki? Silence! You don't have the right to speak that name! As I suspected, you bear animosity towards me. Animosity? What for? I have no obligation to answer that question. You will all become the master's sacrifices. Sacrifices? So the maiden's not enough then? Aru Kenimon said it before. Human children aren't as valuable as the maiden, but... They're good for something, but we won't let you have your way. I don't know what you're planning, but you ain't getting any sacrifices from us. No way! Hmm. The smallest wretch is always snarled the loudest. How dare you! What is this, Renamon? Didn't you want to save Miyuki? We're on the same side here, that's why we should... Don't feel like obeying? Fine by me. I'll drag you back kicking and screaming then. Renamon! Oh, we're actually gonna fight Renamon. Oh, it actually tells me there. Don't tell me Renamon's. Be on your guard! Here it comes! Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me! Cheater! You are a cheater! And I can only bring a handful in. Hmm. Let's see. Your base type. So I definitely think I'll bring my boy, War Graumon. Hmm. Do I, hmm, I have a choice? I'll probably go for you. I'll definitely want that chest. Start bat! You are just very bothersome. Let's play a little game. See what happens if we use the atomic blaster. Nah, not worth it. Oh, there's more behind us! We're surrounded! What fun! But it doesn't look like there are any other treasure chests. Let me quickly see. Before committing to anything, get a proper lay of the land. Alright, so there are four Kinzokus and one... Oh, there's a treasure chest over here. God damn it. Hmm. Alright, just so that we don't have to worry about too much, I'll... Grab this treasure chest quickly. Again, I just want the items. I don't really use too many of them. I keep forgetting to. Mm. And bring on the chrome on. Hmm, but then comes the thing. Can he 1v1 these guys? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Can't attack on double move. Hmm. Need to be careful then. Because I want to be. You haven't. Let's see. Can this work? It's decent damage. Hmm. I wish that I could, like, immediately see its, like, movement. Oh, I wouldn't even be able to get a good flank off, so. Wasn't even a big chest, so missing out on the chest wouldn't be bad. 
I'll need to make fine use of my talk to ally thing that I keep neglecting. Haha, you missed, fool. And of course. Let's see. Ah, so I'll have to move. If I want to really get up on that, but then that would also, like, surround me a bit. Maybe I could just move forward one, and that would kind of work on most things. Ah, but that's still not a lot of damage. Interesting. Oh, yeah, because you're base type. I keep forgetting about that. Hmm. I forget how long these last. So I'll make them come to me. Gotta play defensively. Ho ho ho. Eh, might as well. From a safe space, relatively, I think. Also, these have far, like, slower movement speed than I expected out of these guys. Hmm. I don't want to move out because that might potentially give Renamon a flank on the boy. And that would be bad. Wouldn't even kill him, so it's not worth using a Terra Force. Hmm. Might actually back up. Force him in a bit more. Actually, what am I doing? Wait, yeah. Keep forgetting. Just give myself a little bit because it is a ranged attack. Which means he'll only be able to get a flank at best. Oh, you're mean. Could annihilate you, but that would leave you at risk. Hmm, because how much damage did that do to you again? It seemed to do almost half, which is risky. Oh, but wait, you should be able to move after attacking, because, yeah, that's a thing. And be not item. And because you did that, Atomic Blaster! To your face a little bit. Would have been nice if you did that for poor Blossom Mon. God damn it, that always happens to you! Why is that a stinking status effect? Does it say, like... Forget if it says anywhere if it's like a back attack or what, but then again... Well, let's go for this. Critical! Nice. You are mean! But since you did that, die. <laughs> LOL! Even in... Talk about, like, uh... Gameplay and story integration. Renamon's a dumbass. <laughs> when it comes to overzealously trying to do something. Eh, it doesn't even kill us, so we'll just smack him. The biggest of lols. 
And we'll probably have to send Blossomon to save Chromon. Because he is a fool. Lol, you miss. And we'll just send uh, War Greymon towards the chest, because why not? Hello, friend. I want you to die. Fine, you forced me to use my full power. And that just leaves this guy that will probably go after Blossomon because he's a dick. He will oh no, he's going for a side attack. Good for you. Once again, I forgot to do the diddly D bibbidi ba. The uh, talk to partner to get superpowers. Go, Terra Nova, open up box. Hell Crusher! Nice. I have no idea what that move is. It sounds cool, though. Oh, now you wake up! Smack him from behind. See, Renamon, you really are just like Aru Kinemon. A dumbass. I wanted you to be friend! For you to be like, I will come with you to save Miyuki, but no. You're a psychopath who's like, no, only me. Only I save Miyuki. Why must we fight, Renamon? Did you want to save Miyuki too? Don't you talk like you know everything? I promised to protect her, and I'm the only one who can save her. But don't we all want the same thing? Not Haru, not Takuma, not any of you. I'll save Miyuki. Me! Renamon. I'll tell you all something. I know where your friends are. Our friends? You don't mean... Aoi and Kaido? Come to the library if you want to save them. Oh, and get ready to atone for your sins. Don't come and they're dead. Both of them. So you know what to do. Kaido, Owie, did the enemy really get them? Can't we say for sure? Could be a bluff. Alas, but that didn't sound like bluster to my ears. If they've been captured, why haven't they been turned into sacrifices already? I bet they're trying to lure the others to get more sacrifices. So, like, it's totally a trap? Even so, we gotta do what we gotta do. Yeah, we gotta save those guys! Let us go. I believe the library should come into view a bit farther ahead. Oh boy! Horrors beyond my comprehension! Ah yes, my two favorite choices. <laughs> Progress or battle. Before we go in, should probably see what kind of things do we have. Superpower Pineapple! Who needs more punching? Who needs punching ability the most? Or who would benefit from it? Because... Does anybody... I really wish I could take a look at their, like, evolved forms, like, attacks. Then again... Your physical attack goes way, way up while your... No, and your special attack also goes way, way up. But again, it would be really nice to be able to, like, just see the actual attacks and what they are. We can't even select the Digivolution. That's the one thing that I want them to add. A little pop-up showing, like, what their attacks do. Can you even see what your attacks are? Yeah, your skill. Just would be nice to know, should I invest in one thing, or should I invest in another thing? Because I think they're all special attacks. So physical attack would just basically be our basic attack. Hmm. So definitely not you, because you have a two-space 
than like a T-shaped attack. And we don't want to move you in unless we are going for that. You are a ranged attacker. You... We don't really use you to attack too often. Also ranged attack, ranged attack, so... The only one that I feel like might is you. So we're gonna give you... Hmm. And one more for you, because you have more speed when you're War Greymon. Let's see, who needs health? Health is very important. I guess I could also see what their, like, evolved forms health is. 2,040. 1733. I forgot, we can't digivolve you. So yeah, definitely need to uh, give you some, because you are low, low, low on health. Rare Amulet Acorn, okay? Who needs special defense the most? Definitely you. Crunchy Apple, who needs physical defense? Not you, maybe you. One Crunchy Apple for you, one Crunchy Apple for you. Crunchy Clobber Carrot, who needs special attack? Yours is low. Again, this would be where looking at the actual attacks would be nice. On the evolved forms. And uh, now we're back to more health. I think it's still you. But at the same time, we use, use you more and put you into danger more. And back to special attack. 89 to a few. Doo -doo -doo. And we'll give it to you. Save into danger. Save into fear. Well, here we go. This is the library that appeared. Hey, isn't there something weird about this? Yeah, buildings like the apartments in the school have been all run down. This building looks like it's been built pretty recently, though. So this is what you meant by clearly distinct, Professor. Yes, I'm afraid so. This must have been manufactured from memories recently taken from humans. Memories? So, what about the old school building in the amusement park? Are they memories too? I imagine they're the memories of someone who was taken previously. My sister, most likely. And the apartments must have been... Ah, uh, never mind about that. We gotta hurry. Those two could be in big trouble while we're standing around. Whoops, yeah, you're right. Let's go inside. Where's Garuruman in all of this? I would like to know. I would like to know where Garuruman is. Well, we only have one answer. Reception. Oh, it's so dark in here. It was so bright out there in the woods. My eyes aren't used to this yet. The air feels cold and that odor. Dust, maybe? Okay, my vision's adjusted. I really like the background artwork in these in this game so far. Kind of 3D, but still blended together well. So this is the library. It's totally different from the other places up to now. Kind of eerie, to be honest. Wait, wait, what? Those two, how could they be here? What is it, Agumon? Come on. Ah, is Rinamon being an asshole? Is Rinamon going to pull the dead friend gambit, are they? Because there are only two, two that I can think of that would get that kind of reaction. Let me guess. Come on, man, that's a pretty harsh reaction, no matter which way you cut it. What? That voice? No, it can't be. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Hey, guys, what took you so long? Yeah, what's wrong with you guys? Do you get sidetracked somewhere? Shuji? Ryo? That's mean of you, Takuma. You act like you've seen a couple of ghosts. 
Like, we've been waiting around for what feels like forever. That's impossible. I mean, you two were... Swallowed by the fog? Yes, all of us got separated. No, you weren't swallowed by the fog. You were swallowed! Anyway, don't worry. From here on out, we'll always be with you. That's right. We'll never leave your sides. Since you two will end up like us. Look out, everyone! Wait a second. Who's everyone? Huh? What fun? T Tacoma! Everyone else is gone! He's right. But when? Not only that, the door won't budge. We can't even get back outside. Like a fish in a barrel, you guys are. What? No need, to be so, no need to be so scared. You'll see each other again in the end. Yeah, we're all meeting our mar our makers here. There'll be a crybaby about it. What are you two talking about? Well, look, our deaths were our own faults. We were weak, we admit that. But that wasn't the only reason we died. It was also because you abandoned us. No, not really. Maybe a little bit on Rio. Ever so slightly, other people kind of said, Oh, I could have done more for Ryo. Not you. Your death was your own fault, Shuji. That was definitely your own fault. You probably forgot all about it in your struggles to survive for God abandoning us. And after all that talk of everyone going home together made me sick just hearing it. I guess Shuji and me were never part of that group, huh? Everyone didn't include us. That's not true. We all felt terrible after losing you. Still, there's no reason for us to give up on living. That's okay. You don't need to make excuses. We're not here for your apologies. That's right. After all, talk is cheap. If you really are sorry about what happened, there's only one thing for you to do. And I'm not going to do that, because I know what you're going to ask, and I'm not going to do that. Prove it with actions, not words. And how are we supposed to do that? Come with us, Takuma. We're friends, aren't we? We'll always be together, right? I deserted them both. No, didn't. Is that really true? No. If I want to apologize, that means I have to become like them, really? Wake up. If that's true, then I... Bite him on the leg, Agumon! Takuma, no! Come with us, won't you? I expected as much from you, Takuma. Hurry up, yo! You got a date with the fog. Takuma! Don't go! Wake up! What? What was I just seeing now? Was that some sort of illusion? Oh, good, Takuma, you're back to normal! Thanks, Agumon. That was close, Mon. Wait, was that Rinomon's trap? I think so. I saw them too, Ryo and Shuji, but like scary versions. But more importantly, one thing's still the same. Everybody's gone. Seriously? Is Rinnemon buying this too? We should look for them, right? They could be in the same situation you were. Oh, yeah, that's true. We can't leave them to their own devices. Let's hurry, Tacoma. Seriously. All should have been like... If I was in that situation, I would have been like, No, I'm not going to follow you because um, it's not my fault. Not my fault. Rio, a little bit, maybe. But that was before things really sunk in, how super serious things were. Shuji, completely his own fault. It's Saki and Miyu. Great, I'll join up with them. Or they could be illusions. They could be illusions. The shelves are stuffed with books. None of them stand out, looking at the spines. The books are old as, as old school as the building. I wonder why. Reception. The library's reception counter. A librarian would usually be checking out books here. But there's no one here now. Please don't be illusions. Saki Mew, what are you two doing here? What took you so long, Takuma? What are you thinking getting separated in such a weird place? Sorry. Takuma, I can't get up. What? Where, where are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. Not like that. I just feel awful. I, I saw visions of Shuji and Ryo. Ah, oh, that would actually help that Mew is with Saki then, because Mew never met them. Ha ha ha! Suck it, Renamon. Oh, I was close to them. And I was so happy when I thought they were still alive. But I failed them. I failed them both. Not really. A little bit on Ryo, but that was still mostly him losing his mind. Ever so slightly. And again, it's I think it's physically impossible to save him, so it's really nobody's fault at that point. 
Shuji, that was a death of his own make. I'm not gonna say he deserved it, but... He did not deserve it. Saki, you have to stop. Blaming yourself isn't going to do you any good. Hey, Saki, hating yourself won't make things any better. Now, come on, get up. Help me find my brother. So come on, don't you just stand there either. Give Saki a hand. Right? Okay. Something seems off about this. Something about this just doesn't seem right. Why can't I put my finger on it? Takuma, don't you think they're acting funny? Watching them gives me the heebie-jeebies. Hmm, yeah, because... I don't think Miyu would say, help me find my brother. Saki, on the other hand, does feel like it would be more like, yeah. Feel guilt. Agumon. If Agumon thinks so, it can't just be my imagination. Something's off with these guys. What are you gawking there for, Takuma? Hurry up and help Saki. Uh, Siakumon, did you always have such a sharp tongue? Uh, say what? I mean, you always tell it like it is, but with a certain amount of kindness. Well, Saki always so soft-spoken. Well, how rude. Even I get down and out sometimes. I just saw Shuji and Ryo, you know. They were all join us in the fog and stuff. I've seen Saki depressed. She wasn't as pessimistic as all this. You're being weird too, Florimon. You two are acting more like Aoi and Labramon. Hey, that's not... Mew. Are you always such a worry war? You're acting more like your brother. Why is everyone just a little bit different? It's almost like you're bits and pieces of the people I know. You're not my real friends, are you? Are you illusions too? Ah, uh, he figured it out. And I thought we were doing such a good job too. Let's kill him. Yes, let's take him out. Well, that's a funny <laughs> change. Stand back to come. Here they come. What fun! Horrors beyond comprehension. Would have been more funny if they, like, actually stayed... ...in that form. Then I guess I'll bring out... ...all my ultimates. Yeah, there's only seems to be four, but there could be more behind us. Nope. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and blast you. <laughs> I didn't even get to slow down. Oh good, all the enemies are going that way. <laughs> the sped up run was funny to me. I'll do that, sure. My paintbrush of doom. Damn it, that would have been the perfect position to annihilate three of them in one go. Of course, War Greymon time. Well, let's see. Ah, sure. I think that might be worth it. Alright. Time to take you both out. War Greymon is the best just spam death machine. I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. And you can just smickety smack the chest again. <laughs> what? I'm going to have to look at that. Surely there are no other chests. Then again, this is a big arena. Maybe this is an arena where something big and scary is going to come after us and we'll, we'll want to run away. The run animation is so hilarious to me. Yeah, sure. It doesn't hurt allies. 
What if that was hard mode? Area of effect attacks actually damage allies. That would be hardcore. Get out of here. Also, these are some big ass shelves if that is how freaking big Wargreymon is. Or no, not Wargreymon, Wargralmon. Completely restores the target. Those guys jump for joy when we find these. Honestly, I don't see the appeal. So that's a super cure. Okie dokie. And a clean dressing! Yay! Boy, that was a close one. It's a good thing you saw through them. Uh, I was about to believe them. You're the one that saw through them, really. If I hadn't, I don't want to think about it, to be honest. Let's look for the real deals, Takuma. Yeah, we've got to rescue them soon. They must be experiencing something pretty awful. They need to come under the desk. You're right. Hey, wake up. You okay? Huh? Uh, huh? What have we been doing this whole time? Takuma? Saki Mew. And you're real this time. I'm so glad. Takuma, what, what happened? I feel like we saw this funky vision for ages and ages. Mew, it's okay. It was all just a bad dream. Everyone must have seen something awful, just like how I saw Ryo and Shuji. You shouldn't move around too much. I'll go look for the others. Takuma, oh, come on. Sorry, please take care of them. Leave it to me. You two just rest, okay? So I'm... Why is it exclamation point again in the reception? I almost want to check it out. The time moved is... Don't tell me this is time. Don't tell me this is time. Fear. Fear. I fear that that's like... Mm. I'm scared now. It's Minoru. I have to meet up with him. Where's Falcomon this time? Probably gonna be fake again. Probably gonna be fake again. It's Minoru! Minoru, man, am I glad to see you. Minoru? Takuma. What is it? Did you see a nasty vision, too? I don't know. I'm not sure what happened or what's going on. I can't seem to focus. Takuma, whatever this place is, it, it can't be good. We should go back. We have to leave. Yeah, even I can tell what dangerous this place is, but we have to find everyone first. If you want to run, you can get on your own. I'm going to keep looking. No, I don't want to be alone. Stay with me. Please, I won't talk about running again. Just don't leave. Hey, chill out, man. It's all good. I won't leave you behind. Oh, right. Minoru, something about this doesn't seem right. Why can't I... He's acting like Ryo. That's what he's kind of acting like. He's acting like Ryo. So what happened to Falcomon? Huh? Falco what? Falcomon? He's not with you? Oh, uh, well... Did you guys get separated? Yeah, exactly. That guy just wandered off on his own. He just wandered off. Is this Falcomon we're talking about? It's definitely weird. Those two went through so much to deepen their bond. And yet they just let each other slip out of sight like it was nothing. Anyway, man, let's find everyone and get out of here as soon as we can. Anyway, you see, is that really how little you care about Falcomon? You're not Minoru. Who are you? Huh? The Minoru I know would never disrespect him like that. Not before and especially not now. Are you an illusion like Rion Shuji? Or maybe you're... Uh... <laughs> yeah! Now why'd you dodge that, Takuma? It would have been so much easier if you hadn't. You're not Minoru. Who are you? He's a frog monster. Stand back, Takuma. I'll take this phony Minoru. Take on this phony Minoru. Well, that's not good. There's a bunch of munchkins around. Oh, wait, I forgot. We've got these. Oh, I say forgot, but it's just like we just got these guys back. So that's a good sign. Let's see. Hmm. Let's 
see, because he's on this side, and I don't think we'll be able to hit him. Hmm. We are um, surrounded. No way seems to be a good way. At least not for my boy. Blast him. Time for Supreme Evolution. Yeah, because honestly, the specialists scare me more than anything. So if we moved more this way to get a back attack with Terra Force... Still wouldn't kill you? That's a dirty trick. That is very dirty of you, game. There's one back there. How much is your movement? Okay, not that crazy. Again, I could have sworn that these guys had crazy movement. Back, back. Alright, in that case... Well, if we just attack him, then we could move. But it wouldn't do that much damage. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. If I went this way and Terra Nova to you, it wouldn't kill. So the best move is probably to Terra Nova your face off. Hmm, I fear that side a bit more. Let them come to us just a little bit more. I forgot. Oh, that's well right. You have insane goddamn range because this game's kind of a jerk. Do it there. <laughs> nope, can't kill him, because I guess he's still defending from the last one. I guess the best choice would be to try to kill you. Good. Poison doesn't take away my ability to smite. Lol, you missed because you suck. Get that chest and kill you. Surprise, little man. You're not safe. Eh, why not? Just chip damage. I'm not scared of you. Now, wasting an atomic blaster on that, let's not do that.
odd that you went for the one that could annihilate you the most. I'll just normal smack you. Get stabbed by big meaty claws. We did it, Tacoma! Now, where is Minoru? I'm glad you're okay. Still, where could the real Minoru be? Let's find the real Minoru on Falcomon, and quick! Yeah, I hope they're not in any trouble. They're Tacoma behind the bookcase! Uh, Minoru, Falcomon, speak to me! Okay. Uh, what happened? Thank goodness, it doesn't look like you're hurt anywhere. Takuma, what are we doing here? Take it easy, okay? You don't have to get up right away. Yeah, thanks, man. Uh, looks like I passed out. I had the most frightful dream. Damn. You stay there. Algamon and I will try to find the others. We are in your debt. Let us rest for now, Minoru. I'm sure. I am just super scared because all of them continue to have the exclamation points. But let's go save everyone first. There, I see Kaido and Aoi. Great, I have to meet up with them. They're probably illusions. Have we learned nothing from the games that we've been playing? Or are they in illusions? It's Aoi and Kaido! Aoi, Kaido, are you alright? Can't be just pathetic. Swore I'd keep Mew safe. Damn it, this... This shouldn't have happened. Kaido? Drachmon? Never cut out to be a leader. I, I don't have what it takes to pull everyone together. Owie! Owie! Owie, Labramon. What's gotten into you guys? Has Renamon got them wrapped up in his illusions? Why would Renamon do something like this? Is he trying to get us to sacrifice ourselves to the fog? But Miyuki was stuck in place before, and the fog was closing in. Takuma, over there! Huh? Guar indeed. Enemies, talk about bad timing. So this is definitely the... Some of our allies can die. Part of the game. Nope, not you. I'm bringing on Blossom on. Utter fear, utter fear, 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 fear. Okay, yeah, because these guys better not be able to get turn one smacks in. Ah, damn it. Not enough room. In that case, I'll get as close as possible. Encourage him to try to attack. See if we can. Mm. Let's go for it. Probably should have used the talk command to erase stats. And if I do this, hopefully they'll all focus on War Greymon. Well, you're a jerk game. Luckily, they're slow and we moved up. Get out of here, monsters! I'll stay behind because he should be able to solo the overall enemies. Odd that you didn't go for the back attack. I know what I'll do. I will smiggity smack you and see if we can get our boy War Growlmon to atomic laser the 
the box. Hopefully there aren't any other boxes. Because the game likes to do that. Throw random boxes at you. And they're like, aha. Just in time. Sonic Void. That sounds disturbing. I'm going to guess more enemies are going to pop up, potentially. Try to get them to attack. Try to get them to attack. So that we can Terra Nova their unarmored bodies. Counterattack, yay. <laughs> nice. You know what? I'm going to talk. Protect everyone, War Greymon. Okay, Takuma. I'll defeat our foes and guard our friends. And uh, you can just both die. Really, I should have been just pumping all of the stat things into Agumon. Just annihilate everything and everyone in our way. Eternity. Now we need to focus on getting... Uh-huh, uh-huh. beat the bad guys, but those four are still stuck in the illusion. Is there anything we can do, Tacoma? Pokemon's voice pulled me out of my illusion. Maybe if I do the same for them. Pull yourself together, guys! Don't be deceived by this illusion! Huh? Don't tell... Yes. Uh, damn, the heck did they do to us? Are you guys back to normal? Yeah, shit. What the heck were we doing up to now? Thanks, Takuma. You at least brought him back to us. We're in a library? When we get he here, where even are we? It's a new building that appeared here. You were too caught up in Renamon's illusion. Renamon? Right, it was a trap. Takuma, I, I saw Haru. You did? No, wait. I think about it. That might have been part of the illusion, too. Uh, my head's killing me. It's okay, Kaido. Just take it easy. We're not doing too great. Might be too hard to take them anywhere. Everyone go hide behind that bookshelf. I'm gonna look for the others. Got it. Be careful out there. Let's see. Saki, Minoru. That should be everyone but the professor. Uh, uh, professor! Takuma, the professor's here! Has he seen some sort of illusion? No, no, I... I didn't... I didn't abandon her! Professor! Come on, snap out of it, Professor! You're drenched in sweat, Professor. Are you okay? I'm... I'm alright. I just lost my head for a moment there. Remember to stay hydrated while you're being mentally tortured by uh, Rinnamon in a library. I saw an illusion. Yeah. Although the subject of said illusion seemed quite deliberate. Instead of an illusion, I'd say it was something crafted with intention. Perhaps to harm me or weaken me, drive me into a corner without breaking me. To think that I would be shown such a thing as well. What could the reason be? Is he pondering this to calm himself down, or is all this thinking going to make things worse? Maybe I should stop him. Watch and wait. I'll watch him. He must be trying to calm himself down in his own way. I'll wait and see. The enemy shouldn't care about me. If anything, I should just be a nuisance. But then they could have just killed me when they kept, him kept me from entering the library. And yet the enemy did no such thing. Does that mean they see me as a potential sacrifice? Or is there some other reason? Professor. Takuma Agumon, can I talk to you for a moment? You mean about your illusion, Professor? Exactly. At this point, I feel it's best to lay everything out on the table. I already know. Yes. My name is Akiharu Menase, Haru for short, and brother to Miyuki Menase, who went missing 50 years ago. What? Miyuki is your sister, Professor? You're Haru? 
Between the professor's behavior, Miyuki's words, and the photo, I had a feeling... I called it from day one! The moment! The moment! That, like... Literally, since chapter one, when Haru, the child Haru illusion played by Renamon, had the ghost face back when the schoolhouse was covered in cobwebs, I'm like, okay, Har something's up with Haru. And then immediately, when the professor came into the picture, I'm just like, theory time, he is Haru. Because again, Haru in the prologue got thrown through a portal back to our world. And M Miyuki got grabbed by the Kenzoku arms. So it's just like, I knew something was up with all of that. I didn't know what Miyuki's deal was until we found out, oh, part of her soul or heart was taken by the master and somehow the other half was okay but kind of distant and not blurry to her but Haru Haru couldn't have been Haru and the moment that the professor like played a prominent role I'm like he's Haru he has to be Haru he's focusing on the Kimonogami for some reason and like uh, I had many reasons for thinking that but obviously at this point it was probably a subconscious trying to get back to his sister even though he forgot her so it's like, yeah, I called this from day one. Because Haru wasn't Haru. But still, it sounds weird to hear it come out of his mouth. I had deemed this information unnecessary for returning to our world. Rather, I felt it too burdensome of a truth for you all, and thus avoided the subject. Jujimon said it himself, calling out to Miyuki is a stopgap measure at best. Sooner or later, we'll have to defeat her if that is true. But the knowledge that you two are siblings would cause everyone to hesitate. I thought the same. Still, my assumption may have been misguided. Renamon's hatred and the alliance with the Master may be related to my past. If Miyuki is the key to saving everything, then my circumstances are of no consequence. That's why, if we get out of this library safely, I want to tell everyone everything. About me, my sister, everything from the very beginning. Professor. I know my actions have been dubious up to- No, dude, you are the only one that is sane and I trust in this world! Saki is kind of flimsy sometimes. Aoi is kind of flip-flops. Kaido is a rage beast. You and Miu are like the two sane people I trust in this world! I know my actions have been dubious up till now. So, still, you never press the issue. You have my thanks, as well as my sincere apologies. No, thank you for opening up about this. Well now, first we must get everyone back to the base in one piece. You're right. Let's do this. We know where everyone is. All we have to do now is escape together. Also, I don't know why, but the library gave me kind of an Elden Ring feel. Aoi? Saki? Sorry to keep you waiting. Hey, you two, you doing okay? Looks like we're right as rain, thanks to a certain somebody. Thanks for snapping us out of that nasty vision. Glad we could help. I'm relieved to know everyone's safe. What should we do now? Let's join up with the others. We'll break a window or open... Uh, or open... What about brain? Because I could have sworn there was an open in there, but it's not. Too many O's! We'll break a window or door and escape this place. Can't go looking around while we're caught in a trap. We have to get out of here first. You humans really think you can escape that way? Ah, Renamon, being an asshole again. Renamon. An ambush, is it? No point in capturing you if we just let you run off now, is there? Stop putting up this pointless resistance and give yourself up to be sacrificed. Hold up, Renamon. Tell us what you're really after. Minoru, I assume your goal is saving Miyuki. Seeing her possessed like that must feel dreadful. So then why do you conspire with a master? Is her rescue not your heart's desire? All of you say the same things over and over. I'm sick of watching your gums flap. I'll say this much because I admire your persistence. All I do is to save Miyuki. To save Miyuki? You mean to get her back from the master? So you intend to have these children take her place, do you? Take her place? You mean swap Miyuki for all of these guys? The master desires sacrifices. First, the master will consume a number of sacrifices and his world will expand. I will follow the master's wishes, delivering you and getting Miyuki back from my efforts. There is no way the master will relinquish the maiden! You're being deceived! So am I supposed to sit back and watch as Miyuki, my fated child, perishes? Your fated child? Then that means Miyuki's the same to you? Mr. Koma is to me? She is. 
a few decades earlier in the time of your world. Many children had wandered into this world just as you have. Among them were two siblings, Miyuki and Akiharu Minase. Akiharu Minase. Miyuki's brother, Akiharu, you mean Haru? That was you, Professor Minase. Or should I say, Haru? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Then that means Miyuki's the professor's sister? No way, no how! You saw the age gap between those two? Perhaps it's her maiden powers or the fact that the master swallowed half of her soul. Whatever the case, Miyuki's body has been shunted out of the flow of time. Miyuki is a Manase maiden. She can control the song that connects the worlds. Using that power of the mysterious song, Miyuki sent you back to your world, Akiharu. So then this is the second time the professor has been in this world? Precisely. The vision I saw here taught me as much, Rinamon. The block in my memory is the fear that hid the truth. That awful dream blew it away. I, I left Miyuki here and returned to my world. Then I repressed the fear I felt in this world deep in my memories. While letting you escape, Miyuki was taken over by the master and lost half of her soul. And so even after I convinced the others to rescue her, she was no longer herself. Because of your self-centered need to protect yourself, Miyuki was stuck in this world. She was possessed by the master, losing the ability to age or even feel emotions. You shamelessly returned to your world, Haru, and abandoned Miyuki here! Her heart was broken. She was hurt so badly, all just to save you! And yet, even after all that, she still waited for her brother! She believed her brother would come for her. If she didn't, her heart would truly break. That's why I took on this form. The way you looked when you left her were by her side. In this form, she would smile for me, even with a faded sense of self. If I spoke to her, she would give the faintest reactions. She even sang sometimes. That's why I stayed in this form, remained a shade in your image the whole time. As you aged into this senile old coot, I saved her, protected her on my own. I'm sorry, Renamon. My sins are heavy. Too heavy to ever atone for. Yes, an irredeemable sin that leads to death. You all become the master's sacrifices. Now hold on! These children have nothing to do with this! Not true. They are all I have to trade in order to get Miyuki back. I do not seek revenge, but for me to achieve my goal, all of you must die. But! I kept, you your for uh, kept up your form for Miyuki's sake. Have you any idea how humiliating that was for me? If you have any inkling, then you know how firm my resolve is. That doesn't even mean we'll just go down without a fight. We don't want our friends to die either. I want you to live together. Of, I want to live together with Florimon. I can tell how much you've suffered. If it were me, I don't think I could take it. But that doesn't mean I'll let you sacrifice my precious Mew for some fishy deal. Yeah, all of you are right. Renamon, I can't imagine the master ever letting the maiden go. Our sacrifice is really the best way to get Miyuki back. If you really want her back, we should call out to her, together! Our voices can get through to her, so please, Renamon! Yep, too lost. We're gonna have to kill her. Renamon! I won't accept it. That your voices could reach her, but not mine. Just shut up and sacrifice yourselves for her already. That's the only way you can atone! Well, time to fight again. I wonder what again, where's Garuru Mom? Wonder what this all is. What is Agumon gonna super digivolve again? What's going on? What is this animation? What does it mean? Hi hi. What was that about? Let me guess, you're gonna go a level above ultimate, aren't you? Oh no, you're gonna go to ultimate, aren't you? Yep. Because you went QB, and now you went this. So I got my full team with me, because I saved everyone, I think. And I get to have more? Hey look, it's you. I get to have so many! So, so many!
still don't know what happens if a free Digimon dies in battle. That's odd. Hmm, I wonder if I get to control them or if they are... I, sh I assume I'll get to control them. And there's a big... There's a big treasure chest and I want it. We need to head over there to defend them until we can digivolve them. And we need to play safe. Because it is entirely possible that she could rival Piedmon in power now. That is a horrifying possibility that exists. Get out of here. Super cool that they, like, threw a bunch of, uh, our free Digimon at us that we could use if we so wanted. Can we talk to Rinamon? No. <laughs> Still think that would be a kind of cool mechanic. But yeah. We need to work as a united force, but at the same time, the Kenzoku don't scare me too much. All things considered, the Kenzoku don't really scare me. I still need to be super careful with my Digimon, because... They could just spawn enemies anywhere. Still really cool that they're like, hey, depending on how many you get out properly, you save. You can do this. I moved a bit more. If only I could do it on that. Hmm, I should probably save my Terra Force. Begin our united front. head that way. He'll go that way with War Greymon to cover him. And you'll be here as kind of a wild card. Come and fight me. You go over that way to back him up with your speed. Again, the scariest ones are the specialist types. The specialists, they scare me, second class. Also, boy howdy, they have uh, the, that specialist with level 48.
べきか俺に任せておけらせる Could annihilate it. Just get it out of the way. Remedy crystal. I'm gonna have to look at that. How much damage would we do? Decent chip damage. And you can just stay where you are. Not too scared. Let's go for chip damage on this guy. Beat him up. Place that to like the, the Reese's Puffs. Like song. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. Except it's like, beat him up. Yes, waste your beloved attacks. Again, those specialists scare me. Your defense, but you have low health. I'm scared for you. Now, this is a perfect place for Chromon. He can do his special to get both of them. Oh, if I really wanted to be a kill stealing dick, I could move and try to. Actually, that might be a great move. Nope, I can't get over there far enough, I think. Let's see. Nope, I can get them both. Blast them. Ah, shit, she's coming. Go ahead and blast it as much as possible. Get it out of here. Danger is coming, so we need to... Wipe out these guys as much as possible. Go ahead and defend. Again, it's that frickin' specialist that scares me. But not that much. Base type. So, making a fortified wall seems like a good idea. Oh, you actually get a move. Good for you. Let's see how good you do. Not that decent. Oh, great! It does confusion! <laughs> My absolute favorite. Let's see, what's your attack? Kill. Fear, 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 fear. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of you. As well as put... That's very mean. Luckily it's only one, but still mean. <laughs> then you ran away, lol! Actually...
Yeah, let's do it one at a time. The next one that we should focus on is probably the other specialist, so we can't come in and blindside us. Or we could just focus on getting to and beating up... Uh, what is your form again? Talmon. Honestly, surprised that I haven't seen somebody do, like, Taukaka Talmon. Your mobility. I'll, I'll send you over here so that you can maybe be some chip damage for the advancing party. Again, just hilarious fast-forwarding animations. And you go over there and maybe back them up a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, you run away. Oh yeah, let's zoom up. You act like all the... Who are they? I forget. And I'll just do a little bit of a rib platter for the boy. Raise it up just a little bit. Because now the specialist will probably come on in to be mean. Yeah, the specialist scares me more than nearly anybody else. Uh, you be there, because you have, like, no health. It is just not time to make risky plays. Risky plays, this is not time. So yeah, if we wipe out all her allies, maybe something special happens. Probably not, but still. How much damage? That could just annihilate you. Hmm. Uh, I'll save my SP. Make a united front. Let's go ahead and get rid of you. Although that would inevitably then head to another of the big boys coming to play, probably. Because that just seems to be how this is working out. Kill. You'll come in for the flank. That's not what I wanted, damn it. Oh well. If he dies, he dies. Sadness, but he dies. You want to come fight me? Oh no, you're gonna be. Yeah, you're gonna kill him. Yeah, he's dead. This is no Piedmon. This is no Piedmon. Oh shit. At least if we bring her health down low enough, 
that will allow our boy Borgraymon to come in and do something. But she did 4,000 damage, so I think some of our friends are going to be dying today. Maybe an atomic blaster might reach? Probably not. One away. Profound sadness. I'm coming to beat you up. Again, it's just like, these free mons that we got, they are not gonna live long, probably. Hey, maybe it'll stun her, probably not. Game is very rude when it comes to that. And now you can run away, because you're just not gonna do anything. You killed one of my free mons. I'm not sure what that'll do for the whole of everything, but I... Probably should have done the talk. Oh well. If you're gonna kill your copy. Oh hey, you didn't kill your copy. Good for you. You are a meanie. Die. Now we'll know what happens to Freemons that die in battle at least. Oh yeah, and this is also going to be super level up for some of these guys. God, we're going to have so many stat-ups to go through. Oh hey, you're li you're alive. Good for you. So we're going to have to definitely look at some of our diddly dees Our crystals that we have on. We've won, Renamon. Not yet! I can still... <laughs> Stop, we're begging you! You can't take any more! I'm not defeated! Not defeated! I will save her, no matter what! Rinamon, I know you share a powerful bond of Miyuki, and I have no intention of taking her away from you. You lie, you already abandoned her! I have no reason to lie, and I'm grateful to you. You suffered a great deal. I can see that. I see what pain, what pain my existence has caused you. Hate me if you must, but I want us to work together. If you continue to trust what the master told you, it would only prolong your suffering. Prolong my... I do not wish any further anguish upon you. You or Miyuki. That's why I told you not to talk to her. There's no guarantee the master will keep his word. I'm sure you realize this. Still, you clung to that promise because you had no other choice. Isn't that right? But the master has been the one threatening Miyuki from the very beginning. And if she learned that you were suffering due to the master's treachery, the one who would hurt, be hurt the most by this is Miyuki, isn't it? Let's take her back, Rinamon. Save Miyuki. Save my sister from the Master's clutches. Let us accomplish today what we should have done 50 years ago. Haru. I... I... I knew it would come to this. What? Who's there? It just keeps going. It just keeps go. Okay, not as horrifying, but still. A heart that yearns is a heart that betrays. You remain not but an impotent beast. Yuki. Yuki, no master. This isn't what it looks like. Look at all those servants staying behind Miyuki. Just punishment for foolish traitors. Look out, here they come. Another fight. Fight after fight after fight after fight. Is this the end game? Is there just ten parts? Miyuki. Miyuki. 
Are you still in there, Miyuki? Do not mistake this for the time you spent at her side. The maiden's soul sleeps within me. Your voice shall not reach her, no matter how hard you try. What? Then you promise? Why must I heed the words of some craven beast? Where is Garurumon? You really did trick me. Don't listen to him, Renamon. Miyuki responded to the professor's voice in the castle. Her heart is still nearby. Miyuki, my fated child, please hear my voice. Miyuki, please answer me. I beg you, respond to my voice. Renamon Haru Miyuki. <laughs> A useless effort. The maiden is already under my control. Shut up! Miyuki isn't just a thing you can possess! Her smile, her song, her kind heart. You can't just treat all of them like your toys! Let her go! Yeah, Digimon for us, please. That's it, Rinamon! Transform our feelings into power! Is it gonna be the ultimate? Yep, Warp Digivolve. Again, they haven't said the word Digivolve or Digimon throughout this entire diddly game, which is impressive. Ah, was it, uh, no, not Suko, but, uh, Sakuramon? No. Maiden of Divine Will. That's the achievement I just got. Sakuyamon! So she'll probably be a guest party member. <laughs> Select three more. Definitely you. You are a big bruiser. We'll keep you. Actually, uh... We'll put you uh, down here and bring you. <laughs> oh, I just get outright control. Neato. What is your special? Raises SP attack one rank. Raises damage dealt by skill two ranks when attacking with an element the target is weak against. Amethyst Mandala. Deals light damage to targets, negating any stat boosts and increasing your physical defense and special defense. Two ranks. Neat. I'll send two that way to kind of sniff things out. As well as get the the box. But like the game can't be in nearing the end too much yet because not everybody has ultimate like warp digivolved yet. So yeah, the, I will say it was an emotional roller coaster. It was definitely an emotional roller coaster, but I'm honestly surprised that. Renamon didn't stay an antagonist for so long. Renamon was an antagonist for one whole part. So yeah, either it's ending here or we're going to like 15 parts. I don't know. That is not worth the uh, expenditure. Honestly, we should stay here. God damn it. No, not item. Attack. Oh, you're level 50. And you have lots of health. So this is gonna be harder than I thought, so... Yeah, it's not good. Yeah, you're not getting a side attack in. Again, we need to let them attack first. Don't, you moron! I hate status effects in this game. That is the only thing. 
stat effect status effects in this game are kind of bullshit. Because they only affect you. Again, you frighten me a whole lot more. Which means I should probably get closer. Well, let's go. So I have to spend an item to bring you out because that is bullshit. And I'm scared, so... Honestly, you are too dangerous to be left alive. You are beating up that area. You need to die now. Another area of effect. We could potentially, like, if I move far enough away, maybe I can kill you. Because you are definitely worth killing. Damn, he's still alive. I know. I shall head here. The others are kind of on their own right now. Don't go for Cerberus Mon. Thank you. Good, it didn't make him confused again. That would have made me really angry. Because I hate status effects in this game. Yeah, go ahead and do it from behind. I'm not scared of you. The only reason the other one scared me was because it did frickin' Atomic Blaster with confusion! Which, let me just say, is complete shenanigans. Complete and total shenanigans. At least my main attackers aren't, like, super down, but... Considering these two are in dire straits, I'm going to try and, like, follow them. Heal them if I can. We should probably do it carefully, because they'll probably do the stupid thing of, Uh-huh. Enemies have spawned, because you moved up. Hee-hee-ho-ho. -ho. Dumbass. That's something that I find annoying in many games. Just move up slowly. Get the box. Lure out anys that are just going to be like, heedly ho, we're going to teleport at you. I'll let uh, Growlmon get the smack there. But yeah, I was kind of close. Rinamon was... Uh, yeah, there we go. I knew that was going to happen because the game's a dick. The game's a big asshole. Surprise, you thought you were any good for... No, you're not. You're not good. Doom is here. But now we have speed break. And I forgot to look over my, my inventory. Please let me go first. 
All right. Did they spawn in protected? No, they have 3,000 goddamn damage. What? Third class Kenzoku might. But. I genuinely think that we should probably move to join the others. Because these guys are big and scary. Okay, good. He ran away. So we should probably come to try and join up and... Everything is being bad. Me no likey this. This is shenanigans, man. Come to try and defend you guys. Maybe give out some platters. It's just scary that my Terra Nova isn't doing much to it. I'll still throw it. Oh, well, hey, it was a crit. Good. Well, that's bullshit. I'm not afraid to say that's bullshit, because that is some grade-A goddamn bullshit. Okay, now that they ran away... Uh, let's do a big bandage. I could try to get closer, but then that would be two of them. Let's try it. Probably should have tried to do a heal. Because the thing is, these guys are scary. Let's do a little bit of damage. I should have done the talk and get super up, damn it, fool. Again, that's such bullshit. Like, the most we can do is try to lure it out. The most that we can do is try to lure it out. Or are they trying to, like... Hmm. I almost want to move over here. I think I will. And since we're out of their way, should probably do... a red platter for everybody. That's just bullshit that they can heal. That is such bullshit. Oh. 
It is such shenanigans. Also shenanigans that we are doing like no damage to this guy. Oh, fuck off game. I am not enjoying this. What is with this sudden... Oh yeah, fuck you. So yeah, these guys are not good for this fight. do it. Again, I forgot to do the goddamn talk to thing. Bleg. Alright, that's bullshit that it can hit through there. So he's dead now. Okay, never mind. The game had some mercy, but still, that's some great A bullshit game. That it can hit through the goddamn thing, because it's more like a line of sight thing. But if we can get rid of two of them in one go now, we'll be able to heal. Get out of here. Those guys were ugly and I hate them. So yeah, we need to regroup. All right. We definitely... What I'll probably do is move War Gralmon into position so we could spam his moves. And these guys will probably come in to help. We have platter for everyone. The downside is... I'm just scared. I'll be there to defend War Gralmon. Um, no. Yeah, so let's see. Can we reach with an item to... Oh, we can just reach him with a big bandage. And then he'll be able to get into position next turn. Well, would you look at that? I'm not scared of you. Or should I just, like, stay back here and just, uh... Honestly, it seems like, uh... Terra Nova is not the effective strategy here. So I'll just smack you. And I did the thing again. Forgot to do the stat up. That is, uh, not a lot. Be a meat shield. Don't kill him one hit. Alright, that's not that scary.
Eh, why not? Annihilator. And blast him. And now we only have one little minion to take care of. Or do we? We do. Coward. Guess you two will head over this way to encourage him to not run that way. Because again, that doesn't do much damage. So we'll hang back a bit. Oh, you're actually going in for the kill. Again, let's come in from the side if possible. Ah, uh, you don't have it, so let's do a rip platter. Could do a rip party set, but I don't think it's that important. Or maybe a, uh, where's like a... Weren't there like just like a big... Like something cut. Yeah, I think just choice ribs. Hate that you go first. Why are you a coward? Why are you a big, big coward? You coward. careful a little bit, but at the same time, stop running. Annihilate him. Game, you are being a dick. There is no reason that should have missed. Oh, but it was 89. No. The game is being an asshole. So few of my attacks have missed this entire game, and that's the one that does. Ta-da! 72%! Game is jerk. At least they put in a nice, like, hey, we're ready to die. Oh, interesting. I'll doubt he'll die. Oh, wait, I forgot. Can only do that once. I'm gonna let see you. I already forgot your name. Annihilate this fool. I see. Yep, the talk action has been used up, but at the same time, I think it was great out because. Bibbidi bop. Yeah, those, those were scary. And Renamon leveled up, so that kind of implies that Renamon's on the team now. Yay. Ultimate Enlightenment! Oh ye, oh ye, oh ye, oh ye. I can get my, my super knife. Before things happen, happy music is playing. Well, maybe not happy music, but the good music is playing. We got one. I'm gonna use it. Nobody else to use it on. Give me my swordsman. 
It's not really a swordsman, he has a lance, but eh. Hell yeah. And should probably take a look at, like, uh, the diddly D. Oh, the, the, the motif is playing in the background. I kind of hate that the... Oh yeah, but I have uh, so many crystals. At this point, maybe I shouldn't even... Let's see, is there any... Oop, there is. But it is taunt. The music that's playing is awesome. I'm sorry, I'm just have to have to do this. And save again, because scare. Again, is this the end? It can't be the end. Ooh, power sacrifices. Not enough! So you're gonna run. No, wait! Stop, give her back! No, he's going to get away! No, Miyuki! We couldn't get her back yet. But now we know that Miyuki's still inside there somewhere. Her words, her voices, they really do reach her. My voice got through to her. Yes, my voice too. Renamon, I'm sorry. You've suffered so much because of me. And thank you. Thank you for staying by my sister's side. Haru. Yuki isn't like other humans. She has a special power. You mean the power of the maiden? Yes. She wields a power instead of becoming a sacrifice. The power to open the door between worlds. That is why the Master is obsessed with her. So what's the Master's true goal? Why does he want to use her power to open the door? Revenge. He plans to launch an attack on the human world. What? Revenge? What for? Has the human world done anything to him? I'm afraid I don't know the details. Yet the Master's words are dripping with anger towards the human world. His goal may be linked to this world becoming engulfed in fog and starting to fall apart. And if we don't stop the Master, us getting stuck here isn't even the worst of it. Right you are. Both worlds will end up enveloped by the fog. I want to rescue Miyuki from the Master. When we share the same goal, Renamon. Hold on, Takuma. Jujimon said we'd have no choice but to defeat Miyuki in the end. I know he did, but I want to keep looking for ways to avoid that until the very end. The way things are now, my heart breaks just thinking about what Miyuki's going through. Besides, we know for a fact that our voices can reach her now, right? If we keep calling out to her. And that helps Miyuki regain control of herself. Yeah, let's do everything we can. Rescuing her would be happier ending for everyone. You guys. You can lean on us, you know? You were one of us for as Haru for a bit there. Fine, fine. I'll help you out as long as Mew stays out of the crosshairs, okay? Come with us, Renamon. We'll save Miyuki and this world together. Please? Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Yes, 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 yes! Whew! Whew! Oh, that was... Oh. Well, yeah, part 11. We still have ways to go, but yay. Happiness. We're making good progress, and nobody's died in a long time. Closing. Drinking. The world I created. If I don't hurry, I too will be. No! I will not allow it. I cannot stop. My ultimate desire will be realized. Thus! Like... I still want to know where this, like... If there's anything... Like, about this. Is there any way that we know who the Master is? Like, I don't know. Is this linked to any other Digimon property? Probably not, but mm, I want to know. Hey, Muki, you're awake. Where am I? The offering. Quickly, the offering! I hear something. What is that? Good morning, my dear priestess. You're what? 
Just hearing that voice, it shivers down my spine. It's like it's directly inside my head. This is too much. Whatever you are, you're scaring me. I will not hurt you. Who are you? Oh, precious Yuki. You are my life. What? Now come. Come here. Sing the song, Escape! Are we gonna get a hint at what this is here? You want me to come to you? Without you, my ultimate desire will not be realized. Your ultimate desire? You mean there's something you want? I cannot forgive that wretched family. Therefore, Muki! Therefore! He seems angry. Like, really angry. Come now, Muki. Come to me. To me. And if I do, what are you gonna do to me? Hurry now. Come to me. No, I don't want to! Don't leave me! No, oh, my precious priestess, please, don't leave me! What's going on? My head feels weird, like my mind's being taken over. I can't take this- no, no! I can't let him have his way. I know that much, but still... What am I supposed to do about it? Sing your song, if it are possible. Profound sadness. But that will be it for now. But let's go over what happened. Lots of chaos and madness and everything. We suffered our first actual, like, mid-combat doom. I'm kind of sad that, like, Renamon and the Professor aren't included in this. That would be cool. But yeah, that was just a whole thing. That was just a whole thing. Because at first it just begins normally. Like, oh yeah, we're going to go and get like food and stuff. We're doing the rounds, talking to people. And then, oh yeah, well, we did technically start with Rinamon prostrating themselves in front of the master. Because they are very obsessed. And not really that smart. Not really that smart at all. But luckily, we managed to beat the power of friendship into them. So that was fun. We saw Ryo and Shuji again, technically. Utter horrificness. But hey, a happy ending to that chapter. Not only did nobody die when it felt like that could have been a time where people died... Like, that definitely felt like, oh, if you don't have enough affinity with, like, Kaito or Aoi, one of them or both of them would die and that would suck. Uh, but at least we got Renamon on our side now as a party member. Cool. But, yeah, that final battle, I'm gonna call some shenanigans. Not only were they healing like crazy, but they had lots of health. I'm scared. I think I might have to do some off-screen grinding. Just to bring everybody's stats up, because that was scary. Well, technically I can't do off-screen grinding because we didn't get to that point. Now, come. I'll get to a choice point. I'll get to a choice point so that I can do off-screen grinding if I want to. After that sudden battle with the master at the library, we made up with Haru, or Renamon, since we all went to save Miyuki and then made it safely back to the school. After that, everyone passed out like logs, including Renamon, who was injured. The next morning, Renamon gathered up everyone in the cafeteria when we woke up. Renamon, what's going on? Why'd you take on Haru's form again? We know who you really are now, so why keep up pretending? I've looked this way for so long that my body naturally takes on this appearance. But yesterday you looked like Rinamon. Well, I can't fight in this form, obviously. So basically, Haru's form is more natural to you at this point. Like you feel more relaxed in his body. Hey, don't ignore me! Oh, shut up! After all that time, Miyuki's side is Haru. It just started to feel right. But isn't it painful to stay in that form? 
At first it was, but the strangeness of it has worn off over time. And I like the look on Miyuki's face when she sees me. So you can forget what I said yesterday. Intriguing. So why'd you call us here? You got something important to announce? Right. I thought we should talk about where Miyuki is. You mean you know? Miyuki is in the shrine. In the shrine? You mean just right over there? Across the street neighbor is a demon? All this time? You mean the inner shrine from before? That's the one. Are you certain? Do you think I'd lie to you at this point? The master's true body is in the inner shrine. So Miyuki is in there too. She must be. I don't think he's lying, Takuma. But if that's true, I can't believe the master Miyuki had been right under our noses. Looks like everyone else is just as surprised as I am. I'm shocked. I never thought the enemy could be so close. We've come and wa we've walked around there so many times. I know, it never even crossed my mind. Like they say, it's easiest to miss what's right in front of you. The shrine didn't seem large enough to hide multiple people, though. Maybe the inner area goes farther than I thought. But I searched the shrine so many times, I can't believe it. We're working together on this, right? Or do you doubt me? Miyuki used to say Haru was really stubborn and never changed his mind. So I guess I'm just being the same old Haru. That's an interesting way to put it. But it's easy to see where the professor's coming from, right? In other words, you don't trust me. That's not what I mean, I just, like, want some proof. It will make sense if you get to the shrine, will it? Renamon isn't offering much in the way of details. I trust them at this point. But like Agumon said, he doesn't seem to be lying. I trust Renamon. Renamon wants to help Miyuki and wouldn't lie about her. I can't disagree with you there. Just look at those eyes. They look like Siakumon's did when he protected me all intense. I guess that's the look of wanting to protect someone you care about. True. Plus, we all know how bad Rinamon wants to save Miyuki. We can trust him on this, right, Professor? I guess I'm the stubborn one, then. I'm sorry, Rinamon. As long as Miyuki is safe, that's all I care about. Okay, so now we know where the bad guy is, but how do we beat him? He's the ruler of this world. We've got to have a plan. Then let me make a suggestion. Let's focus on rescuing Miyuki before we try to beat anyone. Once we've got her back... Once we've got her back, yeah, then what? We run like hell! Then we go somewhere safe and use her power to get home! Good plan, Minoru. Sounds perfect! I know, right? <laughs> it's amazing for you, better than I would have expected. Come on, can't you just be nice for once? What do you think, Takuma? Personally, it seems pretty realistic to me. But we kind of have to beat him, because he'll keep like trying to summon people here. It's not bad, but I don't think it'll be that easy. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, Takuma, what do you mean, not that easy? I can't really explain it, but this world and ours seem to affect each other. As long as something's wrong in this world, ours, our world will be off too. Right, so just running away won't solve the problem. I guess we gotta fight this master at... Excuse me. After all, even though it might be impossible to win. Now hold on, it might not be unnecessary to defeat him. Huh? Perhaps restoring the world and defeating the master should be viewed separately. What's that mean? But we can't see the world without defeating the master, right? Not necessarily. You mean we don't have to beat the master to save the world? Do you have some special insight about how to save the world then? I'm not exactly sure how, but I think we should explore other solutions as well. But if we don't know, then all we can do is fight, right? Yeah, right now that's the only choice we have. Is there really another way without fighting? Since our worlds are connected, it seems like we have to beat the master. Maybe we should focus on saving Miyuki and getting home like Minoru said. Once we're back in our world, we can rethink how to defeat the master. Except then that would give the master a lot of time to think. Uh, time dilation. But if it's really another way like the professor says, we should look into it. This is one of those choices that I think just affects your, like, harmony, raffleness, da, da, da. But I do think that finding another way should be well, on our topic. It's best to find a way without fighting, like the professor said. Yeah, but how? I don't know, but that's why we have to find it. And what happens to Miyuki in the meantime? I can't let the master keep her any longer. If you're saying rescuing Miyuki isn't the goal, then I'm done! But no, that's still our goal! I want to help Miyuki too! 
Whether we beat the mess or not, first we need to rescue Miyuki. That's as true as it always been. Good. But it'll be hard to stop the master without beating him, don't forget that. Renamon says so. Honestly, the chances are starting to look close to zero. But we can't do nothing, that's for sure. Anyway, let's head to the shrine. That's the only choice we've really got, in my opinion. Yeah, whether we beat the master or not, either way, we'll need her power. In other words, we have to rescue her if we want to get home. Yes, but that's not why we're rescuing her. I want to rescue her regardless of her power. But if we go to the shrine, we might end up finding the master, right? Everyone's face has just got really intense. No matter how we pretend w prepared we are, the idea of facing the master is really scary. I'd be lying to say I'm not scared too. Hey, Tacoma, everyone seems kind of on edge. Yeah, they do. Perhaps before heading to the shrine, we should check in with everyone. Check in with everyone, huh? Yeah, maybe so. It would be dangerous to go near the master if we were uneasy or anxious. And that's pointed it lightly. We probably could use a moment to get our emotions under control. We can't just rush forward immediately because that's what we decided. Each person needs to really be on board with this or we'll never win. I think it's like the professor in Renamon said. We should deal with our emotions before heading to the shrine. We can gather back here afterwards. Free action! So we have four moves. But that will be it for now. Real Aziz this time. I just wanted to get there so that if I wanted to, I could do the free battle to, like, toughen up our Digimon a little bit. Because I think that would be a good idea. Billy! But yeah, I am loving this game. This game is super, 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 super fun. The, the Just the emotional twists and turns and fears and the anxieties that anybody can die... Maybe not at any time, but it sure as hell feels like it. Sure, once you probably break the game down and like, oh, the, this character can only die at this point, and this character can only die at this point, and this is how you avoid that. Like, uh, I'm sure you can break it down like that, but that's like a, an inauthentic way of playing the game, ever so slightly. But yeah, being a first playthrough, or maybe even a second playthrough, depending on if there's a new game plus or not again, could very well just be like an emotional roller coaster if you don't look at any guides and stuff. Like, if you don't break down the game like that and you just ex enjoy the experience. But yeah, it's very, very fun. It's ramping up in difficulty again. I still want to know where Piedmon is, because we kicked him into this world. And, uh, I wonder what the Master's deal is. We still don't know who he is. Apparently, he has a beef with the Manasseh family, probably. Because they're the only family that is, like, been noted and is important in this game. So, yeah. Just... Things. Things, things, things. And no idea where things are going to go. We need to f save Miyuki, and on some level beat the Master. Either talk him down or beat him down, but one of them has to happen. And it's just like, bleh, I have no idea where things are going to go. We're probably going to get to a dangerous point where more characters can potentially die. Fear, 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 fear. Fear, fear. But yeah, I'm still loving this game. The music is still awesome. The, like, art is still awesome. The combat is engaging to me. The characters are very good. I love it. This game is very, very good. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I can't wait to play more. Maybe after a little bit of off-screen grinding. Because... FEAR! <laughs> but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, I have a YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games, where all of these eventually end up, all these streams. And already over there, you can watch, well, the past streams of Digimon Survive. As well as the Master Chief, well, not the ma not the Master Chief, the Mass Effect Collection, Mass Effect One, Two, and Three. Bleh. I've been playing the Master Chief Collection multiplayer a little bit, so maybe that's where my brain was. But also Undertale, Kirby in the Forgotten Land, just a whole bunch of games. Oh yeah, and then I'll eventually have to get back to Cyber Sleuth. Hmm. But yes, and if you want uh, art, oh yeah, and to those uh, I'm skipping things again, brain all over the place. If you are one of those people watching the archive, you can watch me play these games live at twitch.tv slash neonicywings. And then, 
If you want to art like my little avatar in the corner, you can see me upload art to Tumblr, Twitter, Newgrounds, and DeviantArt. All of them at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye.